Hey folks, it's Andrew here, and I'd like to tell you more about carbon patterns and scenes. And I'd also like to explain how the song mode will work. So I'm going to start by talking a little bit more about patterns. So right now we've got the phenol attached via MIDI, and it's playing some sounds. And what I'm going to show you first is, let's, let's look at the patterns and the step length and so on and how that works. So this is all related when you start to use scenes because scenes can store a whole bunch of different parameters that you can switch between really quickly when you're playing back uh, on stage or when you record to the song mode, which I'll, I'll explain a bit more later. So by adjusting the step length, we can adjust how many steps are played when we play back a sequence. This only affects the current track. Remember, all six tracks can send different signals out to different MIDI devices or CV gate devices or whatever you want. So we're on track two. This is connected via MIDI to the phenol. And let me ch choose all the steps right now. That's all 64 steps. If I hold down shift and press record, that'll clear all the steps. Now, let's say we don't want to use all 64 steps at once. Let's say we only want to use eight. So what we would do is we set the length to eight we want to start on the first step, but we could actually start anywhere. We could start on the second row of eight, and notice that now we're on the second row. So if I play back, nothing's happening, there's no notes there, but you can see it's repeating on the second row. If I move this row up to the first row, now I'm repeating the first row. So let me give you an example of how, that, how you might use that. So let me record some notes into the first row. So now I've just made a little chromatic scale. So if I turn off live mode, now I can hear that. Let's slow it down a little bit. Now let's, let's record a second sequence. Now you can see we've got a different color of gray now because we've got some notes on that part. So let's record another sequence. So now this is going to record a different type of thing, and now because I've got it selected on the second row, the start and the length of my pattern, see I can make the length any length, now when I play it back it'll start on that second pattern, and if I actually reset it now, it's going to jump to the beginning there. So if I press run, now because I'm playing back on this track, I can actually transpose that from the keyboard. So, what I can do is if I want to play the other sequence we record, I can just back up to that one. Now if I play this... But, what I can do, which is even more exciting, is I can do it while it's running. Now, so I'm playing a little bit of both sequences. backwards. It kind of sounds the same in this case. Now I'm playing off the end. There's no notes beyond the end of it. So this is a really powerful way that you can sort of jam and change things around while things are running. When you start using scenes, you can actually record these settings. So right now, let's say I've selected my first row. Now, if I go to scene two, that you can change scenes by using the six buttons here. There's 16 scenes as well as six tracks. If I hold down scene and press two, now I'm on scene two. So I've got a different sort of pattern here, and I'll explain that a bit more in a second. And let's make sure all the tracks are muted. Track mutes are, are stored per scene, just like a whole bunch of other things. So if I now back up my sequence, so it's got only eight steps, if I go to check out track uh, scene one, now I have the first row. In scene two, let me play the second row. So now if, I, if I'm in scene two and I play the sequence, but if I go to scene one, now I'm playing the first row. Now, 
and you can switch between the scenes while everything's playing and so on. So what you can also do, and now this is where patterns come in, now we've got this, this uh, chromatic sequence. This chromatic sequence isn't really that exciting. Just going down. So now I can apply a pattern. And a pattern is a visual pattern that hides and reveals different notes. If now that one obviously plays all of them. Now I'm on scene one. If I switch to scene two, now you can see I've got a different pattern, which is the as recorded pattern. That means it's just showing the notes that you've already recorded. So if I switch to scene two, now I've got a different pattern overlaid on it. Let's look at scene, scene two, because scene two has the second row enabled, and I can only hear uh, half the notes right now. If I go to scene three, I can actually change that pattern again, and I can select a different uh, pattern. Maybe I want this pattern, so... Now if I go back to scene two, it's the same notes, but a different pattern. Or maybe I want scene three to play all the notes, so I just turn back to the all as recorded pattern. So that's basically how scenes and patterns can work together, and also using the start and length controls. Um, and there's other things you can do too. You can record, uh, or you can store different transpositions for each scene. You can also record different mute settings for each scene, so you can have certain tracks come on and off as you switch scenes. And this is really how you start with a really simple uh, grid of 64 steps per track. And remember, the steps can be different lengths. So you can have some tracks that go really slowly in, in whole notes or in quarter notes. You can have other tracks that are going quickly in 16th notes. And you can layer those all on top of each other to create a, a sort of a, a sound or a, a section of your song. And that can go on as long as you want. And when you switch to another scene, now all those parameters change. Uh, some tracks become unmuted. The pattern can change that's uh, affecting which notes get played. Also, the start and end uh, of the regions get, uh, gets changed as well, so that you can store all these different components. So you can have, let's say, this is your second section loop that you're playing. If you go to the, the first scene again, this is the first section loop. And if you reset, it'll obviously go to the place that's the beginning of that particular section that you've selected. So that's basically how patterns and scenes work really powerfully to make it as a sort of live jamming and sort of composing tool where you can listen to a, a scene for as long as you want and then switch to another scene or you can anticipate what's going on based on maybe someone's doing a solo or maybe you're doing a solo and you, you, you know you want it to repeat a few more times before you switch to the next section or whatever. Now when song mode is enabled, which is not ready yet, I'm still working on that, that basically will let you take these scene changes, as well as the transposition changes, which will move your sequence up and down to play different keys, and it will record those linearly in time. That's really the only sort of linear, sort of tape recorder style part of, the, uh, of, of Carbon that, we, that we're going to have, is this idea of song mode, which lets you basically chain together. You can either edit them through the machine, or you can record your performance live, and it will record the, the timing and the changes. And then when you play that back, those transpositions that you're making on the keyboard to shift your sequences up and down, and those changes between scenes will be played back in real time. And what that lets you do is let things run, and then you can go into a track and do a solo. Like, let's say you choose your first track and hit live, and now I've got another sound. It's coming from my Eurorack system through the CV gate outputs. Um, that could be your solo track. So now your piece plays, and you've got your various changes happening, and you're changing keys, and you're jamming in a certain groove for a while, and then switching to another groove, and then you're soloing over top. And that's basically how you create entire songs that play back by themselves. So anyway, I hope that gives you an idea of a little bit more of what you can do with Carbon, and it explains patterns, scenes, and also helps to uh, explain a little bit more about how the song mode will work. If you like this video and you like Carbon, please consider supporting our crowdfunding campaign. Thanks for watching. Bye now.